hello all in this video we will see how to uh, use a transmission line model that is included in the LT spice and see what is the propagation delay that is being introduced by this transmission line uh, when uh, it is connected so basically uh, if you are a electrical engineer or PCB layout engineer uh, the PCB trace that is present on the PCB uh, which helps us connect uh, the elements can be treated as a transmission line uh, based on the frequencies at which we are uh, um, operating the um, or uh, at which we are trying to transmit on the PCB right so transmission line model is a very very important uh, thing which we need to consider so in this video if we see here uh, basically we have a source okay uh, for which we have uh, a sine wave uh, which we are trying to pass through the channel uh, to the load r2 which is 22 ohms and this is actually a 1 mega ohm signal okay when we click here you can see Mm, the sign um, <coughs> amplitude 3.3 and 1 mega edge of frequency so we are trying to pass 1 mega edge of frequency and then um, the, the um, source and the resistor in between are connected by uh, a transmission line right in reality it will be a transmission line that will be connecting our voltage source or the signal source uh, to any component right and then that component is connected to like a load again by another transmission line okay mm, so the transmission line has two important characteristics so if you go through the model of transmission line in the help we have um, the transmission line symbol which actually has uh, um, a characteristic impedance z naught and a uh, transmission line delay right so um, now if you see here these are the two important parameters if you go to the transmission line model you can see when you click on this you have options to um, uh, edit the uh, transmission delay and the characteristic impedance okay so uh, the transmission line uh, so it can be edited by right clicking on this particular parameters so the transmission delay right now is 10 nanoseconds and the characteristic impedance is 50 ohms so what is actually um, this transmission delay and why is it coming which is a very important point to remember okay so transmission line uh, if you see uh, if you go through the basics of transmission line a transmission line uh, uh, can be visualized as an electrical circuit uh, in terms of having a series in, uh, inductance and then the capacitor to the ground because the the trace will have some inductance and also resistance and um, uh, there will be capacitance between the um, the signal path and the return path that means uh, this is this particular model is constituting of inductance and capacitance so um, a transmission line is actually um, characterized by uh, saying um, a particular uh, inductance per unit length and particular capacitance per unit length so based on the length of this particular uh, um, transmission model uh, the propagation so uh, the uh, <coughs> actual um, um, transmission delay that will be created by this particular uh, uh, transmission line can be um, calculated. So the inductance capacitance that we see here introduce uh, a, a phase shift to the signal. Uh, this phase shift is due to the propagation delay that comes because of this transmission line. Okay. So, if we take a generic uh, propagation delay uh, formula, uh, the propagation delay formula is square root of LC. Okay, uh, L is inductance per unit length, C is capacitance per unit length. Okay, so which is root of LC. So, um, this creates root of LC uh, propagation delay, this creates root of LC propagation delay and this resistor will not create uh, too much of uh, uh, delay because uh, 
either this length can be negligible. Whereas transmission line helps us connect from source to the resistor, there is a length associated because of this length, mm, the delay increases. Okay, as we increase the length of the transmission line, the delay increases. So, ultimately, instead of mentioning about the length here, we are actually giving the um, simulation parameter or the actual effect of the transmission line, which is the propagation delay. And then um, uh, we have a load that is connected. Now, when we simulate this, like let us first try to uh, plot the uh, actual signal. So, we are actually uh, trying to transmit this particular signal, okay, uh, which is at a offset of 0 and then we have 3.3 um, volt um, amplitude. Now, <coughs> when we plot this, okay, you can see here because of uh, uh, the transmission delay that is being introduced, the output the blue signal which is at the load is out of phase with the input signal so uh, the point to remember here is uh, um, a transmission line because of its delay is introducing a uh, phase shift so we'll cal we'll see in other videos how to actually get to know how much phase it has uh, um, we, how much it is out of phase so now let us just try to change the um, characteristic uh, the transmission line delay to 50 ohms just to visualize uh, uh, what is happening and then this also let us assume uh, um, that uh, both the lines have a common length okay and then when we sim when we simulate here okay you can see it is more out of phase Right, so the signal has uh, uh, the phase difference has increased because of this uh, uh, transmission delay. Okay, this is a very very important uh, um, uh, parameter to know. No, and especially when uh, um, you are using a transmission line in your uh, uh, or when you are routing your PCB, we have to be uh, very careful of how much we have to route and what is the amount of phase shift that is acceptable and um, ultimately one more point here is you can see the impedance the impedance is 50 ohms so generally we target the impedance to be 50 ohms now where does that come into picture okay so uh, the impedance matching and all where does that come into picture now let us just try to um, fit the signal zoom to fit okay so now the original signal is seen here and you can see here um, basically uh, the signal that has arrived at the load uh, is having a lesser amplitude than the actual signal that means uh, there is a uh, loss associated with this particular um, uh, model okay or with the particular circuit this is because of uh, uh, the impedance mismatch between the um, uh, source and the destination and the one that we have considered here uh, is a lossless transmission line so uh, when we go here okay let us cross this um, when we go here uh, if you search for t line okay you can actually have a transmission line and this particular transmission line is actually a lossless transmission line that is being considered okay so <clears throat> this is uh, very important to know when you are simulating this particular circuit okay you, there are also if you see on the left there is also lossy transmission line so it is uh, left to your uh, uh, requirement on on what you want to simulate and what you what operations you want to perform on this circuit. A very uh, clear simulation, right? To just get to know the effect of transmission line, the effect of impedance, and uh, effect of impedance on maximum power transfer. So uh, we can actually change the uh, impedances and match it to to. Uh, get a accurate value uh, or desired uh, uh, resistor value here to achieve the uh, 
uh, impedance because load is constant source is constant and in between whatever the um, elements that are there uh, we have to adjust that and this jet knot is constant because we have to achieve 50 ohms so it is only the resistor that we have to change and again this is for a separate discussion on how to achieve impedance but this particular uh, um, video explains you on um, getting to know the propagation delay of a transmission line.